Today, let's see how to file Jeevan Praman, the life certificate for pensioners being at home. Jeevan Praman includes both state and central government employees, that is, both state and central government pensioners. It's a sign that you are still alive to get your pension this year. So, only its completion proceeds you with the further pensions every month. For those elders who are disabled, who couldn't move to go to a bank or anything to get a sign to give a biometric, can prefer this video to do your biometric right from your room. This video is to help those elders as well as during COVID time you could do right from your home instead of going out. So that less panic could be for you over touching a surface touched by others could avoid long hours of standing in a queue usually how people used to submit it is one through common service centers where they go and submit their biometric then through government offices that is bank etc another way is also available which is through your pc or mobile at your home it can be done with a few devices which are specially made for this, which have the license to do biometric. These are the resources you need to proceed with the process. So steps needed are the pensioner for whom the life certificate has to be taken, their Aadhaar card number, Aadhaar linked mobile number, to which mobile your Aadhaar has been linked, that mobile number, then your account number in which you're getting your pension every year then your ppo number then praman id uh, android mobile phone the biometric device and few apps we will discuss everything in this video further so you can download that app and you can proceed doing it. the most important part of this process is a praman id praman id is already created for you if you haven't created it yet don't try it at home first you have to either go to your epf office or uh, to a say, CSE or a bank first you have to create it they will give you a Praman ID with that only further uh, years you can proceed doing it online at your home next is your Android phone everyone has an Android phone but not every Android phone support this for doing this online at your home you need an Android mobile which is of version above 4 version and 4.0 version and above you can check it through your settings i will even show you go to your mobile go to settings and go to mobile details there you can find what's the version of your android now arriving to the main part of the video the devices which support biometric at home are the highlighted the watched ones purchase any one of this device from amazon or some other online Facilities. I have purchased, a, purchased a Mantra MFS 100 and I have did this 2-3 years too for my parents. You can check it out. This is the device and it's very easily available. Uh, it's easily allowing everything. I doesn't have to set up anything. I doesn't have to configure anything. Just like that I can take and I can proceed with the process. If you are unable to find it, I will even provide the link in my description. You can even purchase via that. One time purchase will do. I will show you the package. This is what the pack looks like. And these are the accessories they gave for me with the package. Uh, no cloth then a data data cables and um, a pamper pamphlet i mean why the touch screen the sensor screen every time after you use after a single touch wipe it off for its proper working wipe it after every use that's why they have provided a cloth that is after every touch now these are the apps to be downloaded for the process 
I will provide the app also in my description. You can download via that. Your Google Play Store, go for Mantra RD service app. Because my device is Mantra MFS Android device. Then Jeevan Praman app. So download it. Then we can proceed further. I am just showing for those who want to do by themselves. If you have any doubt, you can see our description and you can download directly from that also. But anyhow, I am just explaining for everyone. We have to allow access to the app because uh, it's a government enabled stuff and uh, only then you can proceed. So don't panic. It's a cure one only. I have been using long since. Once you download the app, uh, that uh, my Mantra RD service app, these are the stuffs which will be showed. So internet should be available, have your Wi-Fi on, management server reachable, then uh, device not connected. Device, it mentions the sensor which you have bought. So connect the Mantra MFS 100 to your phone through the OTG cable. Uh, device is not connected means red color will be shown. For that to be shown as green color, you should enable your OTG uh, thing in your settings. Through your settings, you have to enable that. I'm showing you that too, how to enable your OTG connection in your phone. Mine is Realme phone. Most of the Androids have the same process. You can do that. Go to settings in your phone, check whether the connection is and give the OTG connection enabled. So now it's done. So all three are green in color. Now the capture test. Once you click it, now the sensor is ready to capture. You can keep your hand and capture before that. This tab is just enabling your sensor. We are not yet ready to give a biometric sign. For giving the biometric for life certificate, you have to go to Jeevan Praman app. You have down downloaded that too. So go to the app. If not downloaded, I will tell you where to download it from. Go to jeevanpraman.government.in from there download the app that's the secured one for access actually this app isn't available in google play store so you have to go to the direct site and download it there you have to give some important credentials to download it just important in the sense your mail id they ask for some secure code give them all and you can download it for your desktop version also and also for mobile for mobile you can download 3.6 Android version. I did that only. Once you do that, we can proceed further. Further, you need to have your Mantra MFS Android connected with your Mantra RD service app, and that should be detected. All three green colors are showing everything. Along with that, you have to enter into this app. So, this has been downloaded. I'm showing you. So it will ask whether the device is connected and even Praman can start. So for that you have to connect both. Sometimes there's a delay, it doesn't detect and it's getting late for me here. That's not a very big issue, we can easily resolve. Uh, it happens uh, when it doesn't uh, recognize the app that Mantra FDS uh, device at a time don't get panic just do it again and again mm. two three times to do for that to for the jivan praman app to recognize the mantra device so i did two three times at the third time it recognized it enters this page the important page and uh, now we are doing doing the jivan praman so you have to give your email address mobile number your other number everything properly give the mobile number to which your other is connected so don't give some other mobile number proper mail address which you have given for your pension id give the wrong phone number and uh, wrong id their secondary ids and secondary phone numbers then it won't detect it won't work so collect all the things uh, before starting the process have everything properly with you all the 
required documents like your Aadhaar number, mobile number, email address. Write out what and all you need and take them all properly before starting this process so that it won't make your time more. You can complete everything soon so that. Okay, while entering everything, it gives you a OTP to the concerned mobile number. Then enter the OTP too. I have added everything for privacy sake. Then and ask for read phone status, allow it. Then give your full name as in your Aadhaar. Okay, we have given that too. And here we are ending it. No, we are scanning. Huh? Hand thumb, brush, thumb impression, I mean. Connected device also, that uh, Mantra MF as Android device. And also this dialog box, hi, the older of Aadhaar by have a tick to it then scan do this once again the G1 command takes you to the first page which you got entering the mobile number other number email address don't panic enter it again this is your first authorization it is it is uh, authenticating that it's you only process it's a very lengthy video please don't mind even I don't like uploading very lengthy videos and but this one is taking this much length then the type of pension select the category whether it is EPS that is employee pension or family pension family pension is for those whose um, the employer uh, the pensioner is dead and his family wife or children are getting the pension then there are other pensions too. Mm. Fill up your details. These are the types of other pensions available, pensioners. Then select dispersing agency, whether you are doing through you may say we are doing through bank dispersing agency would be bank for EPFO and uh, family pensions for the services based on from where you are getting the money so I think you know your dispersing agency select that agency I am just showing you the authorities mentioned in the drop down menu. You can select the so and so concerned for you. I am just showing you just going through. You may have a look at enter your account number then everything this uh, your agreement which you have to agree to so whether you are re-employed remarried so fill the details as per you now it's ready to be scanned your fingerprint now select the scan now it's asking for finger scan so give the so and so finger through which you have authorized your Aadhaar card. Mostly I know many of us won't remember that. So try out all the fingers for whichever it is scanning. That would be your fingerprint. So blueprint if you remember then it's great. Just exactly give the finger through which you, you, you used to give your blueprint. I mean biometric I'm sorry not a blueprint your biometric then I don't know how I got blueprinted from my mouth it just came okay so once your biometric is given yes it's authenticated you have done it finalized everything is okay you have submitted your life certificate through Jeevan Praman good once again it's asking for pensioner authentication 
no that's the first page that's all you have done you will get the end message to your cell your mobile number which you have given to your other through which you logged in so you will get it thank you you have successfully submitted that's it do refer a blog a blog link is in description then 